Welcome back to Afterlife. It's episode number 11 as we head into the evening, which means we'll very quickly head into the morning before we continue on. Uh, just a little update on our food situation. I've unlocked the next recipe, which is boiled meats. So the white boiled meat, which uses the same five chickens that we would get for the white grilled meat. White grilled meat. Food is 13 on the white meat. I thought it had been 10. A little surprised it's that higher. But uh, the white meat boiled does give food and water. But what it takes to, to cook it that way is a clean water. Clean water does supply 20 water. So it's, I don't know, it's, it's better for inventory space. But it's not necessarily better in other regards. Now, if it was the 13 food, 10 water versus 10 food, then we're on to something. But it looks like the boiled meat isn't necessarily the way to go. But I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, we'll take care of uh, those two particular needs. My big longer term goal has been to get a forge. And from there, a lot of possibilities open up, specifically a key one in a bike. The forge is ready to be made. We finally got enough books for that. So four minutes away and we'll have a forge on site. Forge is ready, so we're gonna get that place. This is the traditional like vanilla forge, but a lot more can go into it. It's not just a few basic resources. There's a lot of additional resources. There's a lot of additional mods that uh, help it, support it, make it stronger, and a lot more can be crafted as a result. The first thing is we have a lot of scrap metal, uh, different types. Ooh, and that one's not even gonna work, is it? Okay. Different types of fuels are gonna generate different quantities or different amounts of heat. It takes more heat to get things in, and so far we are uh, we've produced charcoal. Will the charcoal burn that a little bit hotter? No, the charcoal does not burn hot enough. So what we're gonna need is coal and we do have a little bit of proper coal that we can put in whatever we were already burning is not going through but once the coal starts to take over i think we'll be okay uh, it is dawn but before we head down and start clearing the place out uh my first any sort of farming that we've done was putting one mushroom seed down it's all i had but it's gonna net two mushrooms and two, uh, two mushroom seeds so we're going to be able to double what we had. So we'll put one more down and add a second. And so that's, that's going to get us a nice positive over time here. As we have a couple mushrooms anyway. I was hoping my concussion would have been cleared before morning. Yeah, it's almost cleared. Down to a minute and a half. And I probably boost. Uh, there's three of them in here. I love that it's not taking as many hits as before to bring these guys down. It's so much more effective than a bite. That's another one sneaking in from outside. Stamina, stamina, stamina. And retreat. Can't retreat that way, can't retreat that way, can retreat this way. Stamina is recovered, but not just venture right back in. Combat up to 14, of course that does increase the game stage a little bit. Try to get that down outside. Just avoided that hit. That's okay, with one uh, it's fine to uh, venture out once again. Uh, so we started the police station. Uh, you know those trailers have been wonderful. Let's head back in that direction. I know there was more out there. So we'll begin the morning uh, 
heading back out to here. Food and water is okay, and we have some food and water with us. Don't need to fight anybody and everybody. We've not been in that house. And it's generally an easy one. We begin in here. Now, I know this place has a dog, but it's got plenty of mailboxes, plenty of little kitchens. A quick way to uh, loot up. And really not that many zombies, just that dog being one of the bigger threats. Uh, it's 10 kilograms, and we're going to pick it up early, but I'm going to pick it up now. Before I forget, it's a priority, so. Well, hello, hello. Did we enter in on the backside? Is this like the main loot place? Ally. Perk point. Jar of honey. I would not be surprised if I'm already infected again. It's just you don't know it until you get to 60. Unless you get that kit. Ah, next cookbook. And a scrapping for fun. That's a good score for the first place. Scrapping book, cookbook, batter up volume four. Power attacks increase chance of knocking down your enemy. Absolutely, because that is with pipes. One of our regular use items. Okay, one trailer. Don't forget there's a dog in this place. And if I'm coming into this in reverse, that would mean the dog should be like right back there. Oh, a big horde running by too. Yes. We got the dog without taking a hit. So far that horde has not noticed me, which is good. I hear a butcher, I think. I only have two pitch on me, by the way. I started a bunch of pitch uh, before I left. There's our vulture. Whoa! That's the horde. That is definitely the horde. There's a bunch of vultures up there. Uh, da -da. I don't want to carry this chicken ration all day. I think we're going to just eat that one now. Inside of the rain. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta repair that. Very lucky she didn't hit me. Another cookbook. Two and two trailers. Don't read that. Bacon and eggs is now on the menu. I don't have very many eggs right now though as we uh, ate a lot of those for a while. Um, uh, vitamins, vitality per hour, stamina regen, duration two hours. Yeah, let's take that. Oh. Okay. Use those power attacks here. There we go. Okay, he's down. Pile of books, double. Shamway box. Another cookbook, our third in this place. So suddenly, cooking is at a whole new level. Tech Planet, scrap for now. Handgun Magazine, we'll use that. And another cookbook, coffee. Yes, I can make coffee. Okay, we are definitely scoring on the drinks. Mailbox, sniper. Volume something. It's one we haven't read. Volume 6. Learn to craft 7.62. Do more damage against armored opponents. 
work site over there. Definite chance for a forge ahead. Uh, before we come back, I'm just going to venture right over to here. We're not going to take all the other stuff, but I want that forge ahead. Ceramic Crucible now unlocked. Book. Let's go get the book. Just that. Leave the rest for now. Magnum. Enforcer. Two repair kits. I could use uh, some vehicle adventures so we can get the, uh, the bike made. And start moving around a little bit faster and haul things. Uh, where are you? I hear a snake. I don't see a snake. There he is. Now we're hauling a lot of extra stuff. Now we're really heavy. Almost heavy to the point where I should probably just go back and then come back out. Magnum Enforcer, Volume 3. Did I fire five shots or six? The last shot in the chamber does double damage. Say a sniper rifle. A one-shot sniper rifle. Is it double damage? Oh, there's our horde. Most of these guys are easy, but... guys are fast and I can't recover fast enough. There we go. And because I'm heavy, I was not backing up very quick. Definitely took a little damage there. Oh, ducked out on that second hit. Oh, now the vulture's coming. All of them are coming. Wow, I just shot that vulture right in the face and nothing happened. Damn it, come on. I'm somehow just barely backing out away from them. Down to one. Wow. That was brutal. We're okay. Amazingly enough. Finally got the vitality positive. Uh, we just finished unloading. I would be heading right back out, except for it's suddenly pouring. We're dry for the moment. Uh, I'd, I'd love to... Actually, here's the plan. We're going to go right next door. The zombie is respawning in here. It does actually make sense. Just make sure it's not every room. It looks like just kind of that first room that we cleared. The rest of this place is probably gonna respawn soon. And this is why we're back in. Uh, I don't need to try to pick the lock. I need to break into this thing. That's gonna be the easier thing to do while we kind of wait out the storm and stay only damp and not soaked. Alright, we are in. We are searching. Light baton. 164 bucks. That's kind of nice. None of that stuff I want to be carrying around for long, though. So do I want to just turn around and go back? Across to that place. I've obviously been in there. Might be a good quick sprint. Amazing how that totally adds to the realism by putting you in the scenario of not wanting you to be outside in the weather. So we're going to make our own exit from this back door while waiting for the store to storm the pass. Alright, it looks like it's it stopped. It has stopped, okay. And it's still just a little damp and already drying out, so... Yeah, we've fared well from that. Plenty of raw resources, but probably not going to find books or anything in there, which is why, like, what we're doing right now is perfect. There's a 
Steak. There he is. Hard to hit without the reticle, but there we go. At level 13 on that spear, it's still barely beyond that day one level. Uh, but being that we are kind of a higher tier weapon now. Not, not tier two as we know it from vanilla, but tier two here. Pipe baton is tier three here. It's definitely a combination that makes us stronger. Oh, wow. Oof, barely got that swing off. And that all comes with uh, those little level ups. That little bit more speed being just enough for us. Another home cooking weekly. Trailer Park has definitely scored huge in the recipe category. That's definitely the weakest trailer yet, but we did score that home cooking weekly and that's very welcome. Two vehicle, uh, two books, including the vehicle adventures, which was definitely on that short list of we absolutely need it because we want the bike. That's that's that next element, right? We've got the forge now. We want the bike. Oh, yeah. Hey, I whoa, big mama. Oh, shoot. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I had the door closed behind me. Not smart. She ducked my power hit. Oh, gosh. Dazed and confused, she hits hard when we are not well armored anyway. Pipe shotgun. Perception mod. Crap. Yeah, I wish those would get tweaked to be, you know, plus five or plus ten or variety somewhere in between. Anywhere in between about a plus five and a plus fifteen, something like that. Ooh, bunch of blueberries. If we didn't already have a map, I would be so freaking excited right now. Coffee. Tech Junkie Volume 3. Oh, wow. Lucky hit right there. I heard. I shot, saw Shadow. Very quickly reacted and just swung and got him. Uh, tech Junkie Volume 3. Shred through them like butter with this high tech ammo recipe. Craft AP Robotic Turret Ammo. I would do it on the tech junkies. Uh, do I really need that? I only have one of them right now. We'll craft all robot robotic turret ammo for completing the set. You know what? I'm going to scrap that one. I'm going to scrap that one uh, and read the vehicle adventures. Oh, one shot. Wow. Nice. Another home cooking weekly. Does make a lot of sense though, because these places are just more or less a kitchen and a bedroom and a bathroom. Blueberry pie. And yeah, we just scored four blueberries too. It'll be dark fairly soon, but it's not dark yet. We're gonna get back out there and get more clay before it's too late. It is raining, but I'll I'll try off suit it off at night. Uh, I'll take the vitality hit for the moment. Uh, I need to kill both of them because I think I'm gonna end up being out here after dark. I'd like to get the mushrooms, and I'd like to also not die. Trying to be out here for that little bit.
The crucible we need is 500 clay, and I've picked up about 100 so far, and I had maybe 50 left. Stone is no problem, but yeah, we we need a few hundred clay. Gathering up to level 9. Digging up to level 5. Stronger. Gosh, it's been a while since I've seen any of those kind of things level up. This setting, and there's a zombie. It's got to be in the clear before that sun goes down, so I don't want anything around. I want those mushrooms. I want this clay. Oh, nice shot right there. There she goes. The sun is setting. It seems to be all clear around us, but it'll feel like the moment it gets dark, we're going to get... attacked in like five different directions. So the digging part's going to be done here pretty quick, I think. Digging seven. We've got half the clay we need on us. And we're not at all heavy, so we're good on that part. And that, sun, that sun is setting. Still no sign of mushrooms. Uh, we'll linger a little bit longer here. Alright. It's proper night. I've already heard a zombie somewhere nearby. And we're going to make our way back. I see one glowy mushroom. Mushroom right there. There's at least one zombie. Hasn't seemed to notice me, so we're right there and go. Watch out that that first one went down with one hit. Here's 14. Well, not a big score on the mushrooms, but we did get some. Yeah, we're up to 414 on the clay, so we're, we're going to need just a little bit more tomorrow. And while it's all clear outside, I'm going to work on trying to finally finish breaking into this chest. It's been here a long time. It's been here probably a week and a half. Wow, that made a lot more noise than I thought it did. It's already brought three zombies in. Right, I'm, I'm nearly done. I'm just going to finish it now. One more hit. There we go. We're in. Sharp sticks. Heavy padded armor. Armor rating 6.3. I have no armor right now. Cutting resistance, bashing resistance are up there. Mobility drops by 8%, so that, that's not great, but uh, some additional cold resistance, which is what we face here. Uh, Quality is much higher. Yeah, that's that's going to be very welcome. That's, that's going on. Yeah, we just had tribal rags. <laughs> just the tribal rags still? Jeez. Well, we certainly won't need that again. I have a perk point to spend, and I'm going to spend one on combat for the first time. Most common weapon for me right now is the spear, so we're going to increase the range by 0.2 blocks. It's a good, good bit of extra reach. At this stage, I'm a single tools digest away from scrap tools. Uh, and with the ceramic crucible, Combined with those scrap tools, I, th uh, I, I think we're going to be able to actually start getting the forge hot enough and, and doing what we need to do. Two tools away from a stone mallet. That'll definitely be help helpful also for uh, construction. Uh, salvage tools, long way to go there. 
bow hunters. I have one book right now. Knuckles, I'm scrapping those. Uh, sledgehammers, I've been scrapping those. There were uh, level two spear crafting, still only level three, even though I just picked one up. And it's morning, it's morning. Okay, I guess we're gonna head back out. First task of the day is water. Mr. Zombie, where'd you go? You found a way to get over. You went over, down, and came up. Back up. Makes it easier on me. Which is two and two. Uh, when I eventually get them spread out. We're definitely going to need additional campfires eventually, but for now we're, we're okay. Let's see, what is that to do all six minutes? Nah, we'll cut that in half. Now it's just three. So first task is uh, finish getting the clay we needed. We already had more than 400. that little bit of leveling up we did um, we'll get another hundred pretty quickly here I'm already a quarter of the way there and there's my second block gathering 10 finally neutral on gathering day one taking eight and the ceramic crucible is done. So that's our first thing to add into here. Humble Crucible, uh, born of clay and fire, will faithfully hold almost all molten metal and be installed in the forge. What I don't have though anymore is any kind of coal, charcoal uh, that, that we're going to find useful. Uh, will the regular charcoal do anything now with that? I don't remember what it takes to get this puppy hot enough. There we go. A lot of it is going as slag, meaning it's not getting put in. We're not getting hot enough to get the proper iron, but we're getting brass, we're getting copper, we're getting tin, we're getting silver, gold, zinc, and scrap, which still has its purpose. Now what we are looking for next is going to be a bicycle chassis, 10 wrought iron ingots, which I already have, 12 mechanical parts. I'm not sure if I have that much, but I don't have the leather at the moment, but I can make it. I do have the duct tape. I do have the springs. So let's check on those mechanical parts. Got three springs, three duct tape. Oh, there they are. T 14 mechanical parts, right? We needed 12. It looks like we can get this chassis on the go because there's 10 wrought iron ingots. All right, so I've got everything. I just need 73 leather. All right, bicycle chassis on the way. I also have what I need for the handlebars. Uh, maybe. No. We're a little short on that one. We have pipes. I only have one more spring. I have one more duct tape, but I do have glue. Uh, but I do not have four more mechanical parts. I have two right now. So we're going to have to go keep searching in the world. I do not have a wrench or anything, but if you break certain items down, you're going to eventually find what you need. Uh, but it's gonna take a little bit so we're very close on that bicycle knowing that i need mechanical parts the appliance company seems a good place to find some mechanical parts hit a couple machines and we'll probably get lucky with that uh, without a wrench i would think uh, but we didn't quite finish the uh, post office and i'd like to be done with that so let's get back inside here uh, Probably somebody tucked in the back here, I would imagine. Surprised I didn't already wake them up. Oh, there they are. Ooh, Lumberjack. Let's 
scavenging at 15. Well, I wanted to go in the appliance company and instead I've gone into the backyard and I'm just finding a bunch of resources that we'll need at some stage, but don't necessarily need right this second. Um, so I'm wasting my time a little bit in a way here, but long term, it has its benefit. There's the dog! days but we're okay after a very quick reset we are back in place it only took me a couple seconds to get everything unloaded and we were close to home so really only a few minutes lost total uh, none of the appliances out front are good but what if we beat on a few Can we get any mechanical parts out of these or is it gonna be all just straight scrap metal or anything at all this is the problem of not having a rush. Oh, I'm bleeding? Really? Uh, advantage it is. I got a laceration from that. This guy barely scratched me. This door. Ooh. It's already looking like main loot for this place. And we're bound to wait down. Zombies, I think, in here. No ferals, though. And we got plenty of room to uh, get back. We've got our zombies attention outside on our left. venture up on that roof and that seems to be the way we're actually supposed to connect to get over there. Maybe there's something good up here I missed. Like a surprise sleeping creature. <laughs> no, just a zombie. I can't see it was a sleeping zombie. I thought that was the body kind. I missed that. Little detail. We're stronger now. That's good. At 15. Batter up. Volume 7. Metal Chain Mod. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Definitely use that. Ooh, hello, hard hat. That's gonna come with an armor rating. An armor rating of 6.2. Five points up from what we have. And look at that. It's pluses like everywhere except for oh, stamina regen and mobility. Just a tiny bit of pain and suffering in those, but that is a big upgrade and a pretty healthy meat stew. Oh, and an improved fittings mod as well. That's that's a nice plus. That is a nice plus. What did they get for you? Paper? And plastic. Get a mechanical part out of beating up on this guy. No. No. Still need that wrench. We are not 
close to getting it. Except for the loop somehow, somewhere, some way, sometime. Mine grew. That's a good score. Whoa! I came to see that you're probably gonna be inside soon and you're already inside. <laughs> Southern farming, you know, I'm not as worried about that right now. The seeds making. Though I would like to get some farming on the go. Aha! Gun rack! Shotgun? Yeah, a couple shotgun parts. No safe in here. Ah, there it is. Uh, let's try to pick this one. We got a lockpick skill that needs some work. Nice first score, though. Well over halfway through, but only one more lockpick. Yeah, that's busted. Okay. We almost got in. Alright, we are into the safe. Structural brace mod. Not bad, not bad. Uh, that can definitely be handy for either one of our primary weapons. We'll see which one can hold it. We've got these couple things up on this elevated storage shelf and then uh, we'll be done here. We'll also be done with the uh, episode. Oh, tricked me. Had me convinced they had made it inside. So that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to go back and unload uh, and be ready to head back out. There's still some day left ahead of us, but we'll have to wait for the next episode. I'm Kathleen Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.